I'm not gonna waste your time. In this video, I will show you how to make a talking animated avatar like mine using free AI tools. It's no secret that channels who have an animated avatar are blowing up on YouTube and other platforms right now. The channel 10X Income grew from zero to 250,000 subscribers in just three months with his avatar. And my own channel grew from zero to 100,000 subscribers in six months, and I make over $10,000 every month from my digital avatar. In my opinion, every Every faceless channel who is not doing this is going to get left behind. It doesn't matter what niche you're in, creators like Dream and Based Zeus grew to millions with their avatars. So without further ado, let's get into the creative process. The first thing we need is a character for your video. My character started out as a simple sketch that actually looked like this. Now, in full transparency, I made this using an app called Procreate, which is about $100, and you'll also need an iPad. But don't worry, because I actually just discovered that you can make something even better than this using only free AI tools. Step one, we're gonna generate a character with CapCut. To download CapCut, all you need to do is open the Google Play Store or the App Store and search for CapCut. Once you have it downloaded, you just need to open it up, then you're gonna search for text to image. This function is a lot like Midjourney, and you can use it to generate images of anything that you want here. I've pasted an example prompt in the description that you can use directly, but basically I'm telling it what it should be wearing, what the room looks like, everything that the AI needs to give me exactly what I'm looking for here. Next, we need to come over here and set the aspect ratio to whatever platform we're using it. 16 by nine for YouTube and nine by 16 for Instagram Reels. Make sure to ask it for four options so we have some variability in what we choose. Click generate and just like that, CapCut has created four images for our text in less than five seconds. I already think that these are solid, but if we wanna make more variations, we can click on regenerate and it'll create four more, or you can edit your prompt if you feel like it's missing something. And you can do this as many times as you want. For example, I can ask it to change to a red hoodie. If you like the specific style of just one image, then you can click regenerate and it'll give you back as many that are just like it as possible. This might end up taking a few tries for you to get perfect, but for this example, let's move forward with this one. When you click download, you're gonna notice that the image is super low in quality, and that's a problem. To clear this up, we can search for image upscaler, which is another feature on CapCut. Just go ahead and plug in your image and choose the 4K setting and boom, now we have a crystal clear image. Step two, now we're gonna modify the background and make it even better. To do this, we're gonna come to a tool called Adobe Firefly. They have this amazing new tool where you can basically generate any background you want for any image. First, you're gonna create an account and then head to Generative Fill. Then upload the image that we created in CapCut and now just use your imagination to remove or add anything that you want in there. So let's say you wanna add or replace a cup of coffee. Just click on the area that you wanna add it to and type cup of coffee. Pretty amazing, right? But look, I can also add a plant here by selecting this area and typing in plant. I'm gonna go ahead and add a few more elements to make this scene really cool and visually appealing. You could add a window if you wanted to. And look, my avatar has this microphone, so let's add a mic, maybe a lava lamp. See how this is starting to come together really nicely? So now we have the completed design of our character and background. When you download it though, there's gonna be this ugly watermark. But don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to remove it for free. To remove it, we can use a tool called ClipDrop. All you need to do is select the text remover and then upscale our image with ClipDrop to achieve a higher quality. Step three, now we're gonna animate the character with the mask. Now, when I did this, to get my character's mouth moving, I had to use a super complex editing with keyframes in Adobe After Effects. But if you don't know how to edit like that, there's now a simple free method with AI that works almost just as well. And you'll see what I mean at the end of this video. You probably noticed that my character wears a mask, and that's not because he has a disease or listens to the media too much. It's because it's a heck of a lot easier to animate a character with a mask rather than lip syncing to every word that goes by. So to animate our masked character, just go to Artflow AI on your browser. You're gonna need to create a new account. Then just click on the video studio in the sidebar and open a new video. Here, you can upload your image from the upload section in the sidebar. Once it's uploaded, Artflow will detect its face and it'll ask us to enable speaking animation. Just click here and then type whatever you want him to say in the box below. 
From there, you can choose an AI voice or you could upload your own as an audio file. So let's say that you wanted to use your own voice like I do, you could then import that voice and add the voiceover as well. And I will be showing you guys how to create high retention scripts and voiceovers in a future video. But for now, I'm just gonna use the AI voice that they have for the sake of this example. So again, just plug in the script and the AI will put it all together. Next, we're just gonna click export and Artflow AI will make the video for us in a few minutes. Now, again, when you export your video from Artflow, it is gonna have one of those annoying watermarks. But don't worry, if you wanna remove a watermark from a video, I also have a tool that can do that as well. It's called Media.io. On their homepage, you can just click on video and then come to watermark remover. Once you've uploaded your video, it's really easy. All you need to do is highlight the watermark section and they have this little green brush that you can select to move over objects and boom. Now we have a clean version of our masked character. So here's how the project turned out. You probably noticed that my character wears a mask. It's not because he has a disease or listens to the media too much. But now I'm gonna give you some more pro tips so you use this right. If you notice, I only play my avatar a handful of times during the video for a few seconds a piece. That's because if I just played my avatar full time, you guys would get really bored. It's kind of like building a personal brand, but without actually showing your face. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, it is a lot easier for the viewer to watch an actual human speak than some cartoon character wearing a mask, but this does get the job done. And again, my channel is living proof that it works. I'm monetized, I've done multiple brand deals, and I generate over $10,000 every month on autopilot. My point is, this actually works. And think about it, from a psychology standpoint, having an avatar is gonna help your audience connect more with your faceless channel. Because without a connection, then your faceless videos will just get lost in the sauce of YouTube. If you liked this video, please drop it a like and make sure to check out my last one where I share how I went from zero to 100,000 subscribers in just six months. Thanks for watching today. I'm looking forward to seeing more digital avatars out there.